welcome to the Bill Wyland Gallery. We're so excited to have you here, Robert okay. Andio. It's truly a pleasure and an honor that you're representing the ancestors here with your amazing photography. Please tell us a little bit more about your Hawaiian background. Uh, actually, I'm not Hawaiian, but uh, thank you. But uh, raised in Hawaii, born and raised. Uh, my family's been in Hawaii since 1929, actually. Um, I was raised originally in Waipahu and then a uh, Hawaiian community in Aliamanu. Uh, when I was younger, at 15 years old, I moved up to the North Shore of Oahu. Um, that was more just based on surfing and such, so I lived up there, surfed quite a bit, um, got really involved with that, living at Pipeline, on the beach of Pipeline, also living up at Sunset, so kind of got into that whole North Shore, surfing the big waves and you know that kind of thing, but throughout it all, um, I was an artist, and the legends of Hawaii a lot. When I was growing up, when I was young, I was always told the legends of Hawaii. I had many Kapuna who would take me and teach me about the legends. I was very much into Hawaii, and that's how this all kind of came about from a very young age. Well, tell us about the inspiration behind the 15 photographs that make up ancient Hawaii. Okay. Um, Basically, like I said, from when I was very young, I was an artist, I was a, a painter and an illustrator, and did Hawaiian print shirts and such like that. But my inspiration when I was younger was Salvador Dali, Frank Frazetta, Roger Dean, so I had kind of a fantastical nature with my art. Um, when I was very young, I was drawing these legends. I would read the legends just like I would read the Lord of the Rings and draw stuff from the Lord of the Rings. So when I was younger, I was drawing the legends of Hawaii. So um, it all started at a very young age. And uh, throughout my life, I became involved in photography. And at a certain point, decided to say, okay, well, I can make a photographic campaign about this. I can make a photographic series about this. The reason for it was because I noticed that through the Hawaiian community they grew up in, and my friends who are Hawaiian, I noticed that the Hawaiian culture seemed to be kind of stagnating a little bit. The, the story wasn't getting out there. So through this, uh, through the photo photography that we can do today, which is very dynamic and vibrant, it seems to have an ability to reach out to people. And then the reason for it is actually to perpetuate the Hawaiian culture, to perpetuate and promote uh, the preservation of the culture, the sustainability of the culture, and to help people recognize what the Hawaiian culture means and how significant actually the ancient Hawaiian culture was because it truly was one of our most advanced cultures in ancient times. What I love about your photography is people that have been coming into our gallery, they feel the connection with the ancestors, they feel the connection with the land, they feel the connection with everything in the Aloha spirit. You've captured that in your photography. You. And people are really captivated by the story behind it, they want to know more. Okay. And for example, Pele. Tell us more about Pele here. Sure. Um, as far as the whole series go, it was not meant to be anything historic or iconic. The stories have been written, the history's been told. So I wasn't trying to retell anything to make any kind of iconic uh, image that represented that, that Akua, that ancient profound ancestor. So what I did was instead of representing the Akua, we decided to represent the essence of the profound ancestors. So for instance, the pieces encompass a lot of the stories together, and they combine a lot of the legends and the myths together, and the essence of their, you know, their kinalau, or what they represented in nature and such. The Pele piece especially, Pele's an interesting character because she's very vibrant, fiery, you know, no pun intended, passionate. She had a lot of negative stories about her, but she loved the Aina and she loved her people. So the one thing I wanted to do was present all of the ancestors in a positive light. So with Pele, what we did was, um, I was reading an obscure story that referred to Pele as she who shapes the land. So therefore what I did was I took Pele and had her actually shaping the land, providing for the sustenance and the Aina, right? Creating the Aina. She's not the creator of it, but she helped to, to, to shape it, to organize it, right? So you have her with the newer lava, right? Going into the Pohoihoi, the older lava, right? And then even within that essence is the Ohia Lehua, where she's represented in a story about Ohia and Lehua. So you have several different pieces of Pele in here. The way that we shot it is shoot the backgrounds first, then shoot the models in the studio. Once we pull them in, we can determine the lighting, then shoot all the elements after, right? And then piece them all together in Photoshop. So this is all photography, pure photography. About 400 actual pictures in this image. Wow. Well, your work has been so popular that the Honolulu Museum of Art had an exhibition, yes. and it was the most 
attendance they've ever had there. Tell us about that. Yeah, for a single night attendance, it was pretty big. Uh, that was pretty amazing to me. I, I'm, I'm a fashion photographer. I've been a fashion photographer for most of my life. Uh, advertising photographer. I worked all over the world, so I've never really done fine art. So we were recognized prior to one of our cultural advisors. We had six wine cultural advisors on the uh, production. And one of my cultural advisors had met with Honolulu and Zimart and told them they should take a look at what we were doing. And I got a call from the director of Honolulu and Zimart and met with him. And prior to us even completing the final edit on the project, he had actually asked us to be in an exhibition. And we opened on uh, April, well, it was April in 2015, um, and the audience was over 1,500 people, which is fantastic because the whole hall was just cluttered. It was brilliant. There was so much excitement. We had a lot of the models there, so they were able to talk with the people and introduce themselves, and it was just a wonderful exhibition. So that really started off the whole thing, and then um, I met up with a friend of mine, Bill Wyland, who I hadn't seen in many, many years, and Bill loved the artwork, so he put me in the Wise Gallery over in Hollywood first, and then a Upon opening this, he brought us in as one of the primary groups. So I'm really excited to be here. Well, thank you so much, Robert. Not thank only you. for elevating photography to museum level, but for perpetuating Hawaiian culture. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Aloha. Aloha.